Today I'm planning an epic trip around Australia. Um, I'm planning to do in one week the entirety of Australia, so every state and territory uh, here. So there's six states and two territories. Uh, I'm going to start today in Sydney, New South Wales, go down to go across to Canberra, ACT, down to Melbourne. Victoria, then Hobart, Tasmania, then Adelaide, South Australia, then Perth, Western Australia, then Darwin, Northern Territory, then Brisbane, Queensland, and then back to Sydney next Sunday. Um, it's going to be crazy, um, but uh, some people would think it's um, a mad thing to do, uh, a boring holiday, but it's got everything that I love. I love flying, I love lounges, I love uh, hotels, uh, I love restaurants, I love bars, and that's what I'm gonna do on this trip. Okay, so I've arrived in Canberra. Um, so I've knocked off one state and one territory in one day. Um, it is 7.18 I'm just off to dinner. It's kind of a whistle-stop tour of Canberra because uh, I'm leaving in the morning. But um, I've been here many times before and I've seen most of it. So just wanted to come here for a, a nice dinner. I'm going to a Japanese restaurant tonight. Um, I'm looking forward to it. So on this trip I'm going to be traveling 11,000 kilometers and I'm going to have total flying time of 19 hours in the air. Um, why bother? Uh, well there's a few reasons. One I wanted to see the entirety of Australia and get a feel for how big this place I live is. Uh, I've only ever done uh, short hops to various cities but I've never actually um, got a feel for how big the country is, so that'll be interesting. And two, I had so much credit to use, it was crazy. Um, because of the lockdowns, I ended up with maybe 10 to 15 different types of credits from Virgin and Qantas, and I just needed to use it all up. And hotel um, credits as well. So, I thought I'd just use it all at once. in the next state, which is Victoria, specifically Melbourne. Um, I caught the midday flight, I had breakfast in the business lounge because they got an upgrade to business for some reason. Uh, and then I had a snack on the plane as well. So I've got to work it off before dinner tonight, which is at Aru Aru restaurant, a modern uh, Australian restaurant, I guess. Uh, very fancy, very trending, so um, that's going to be good. Um, tried to check into my hotel, but all the systems are down at the moment, so they said, oh, just go for a walk, and hopefully when you get back, it'll all be up and running, and we can check you in. Um, so I'm just going to have a little wander around the city, and uh, see the sights, and then go back to the hotel.
say I love Melbourne. It's so good. Um, the people here are just so friendly. I went out for dinner with someone I met, um, just chatting online, and he wanted to go for dinner. So we went to Aru together. Uh, such a good night. And then I met up with a few other people during the night. And now it's like 1 a.m. And I should go back to my hotel because um, my flight is quite early. So, good night. Well, my flight with Virgin was delayed one and a half hours. But for some reason, I got an upgrade again. Um, so, I'm just hanging out in the lounge waiting for my flight to Hobart. start by saying oh my god this place is stunning so I just wanted to say a quick little thing about Melbourne I had a really good time there this time I've been there many times before but this time um, I got to see quite a lot more than I usually do just because I had to cram everything I wanted to do into about three hours so I think I got to see like the heart and soul of Melbourne which I hadn't uh, seen before just because I got to explore like um, lots of little uh, alleyways and uh, lots of secret bars and rooftop bars um, yeah I had a really good time but anyway I've just arrived in uh, Tasmania um, I checked into my hotel in Hobart and this is a beautiful hotel it's called the Macquan on the harbour and it's stunning they, I just had upgrades all this uh, holiday. They've actually given me an upgrade on the room. And um, let me show you around because it's beautiful. Look at this. Look at the bed. Very nice, very nice, very nice. But have a look at this bathroom. Isn't that gorgeous? So nice. Really big room, really big bathroom. Uh, but the this room is actually called the John Skinner Proust room. This is paint set, and he is known to be grounded yet exceptional, which describes me to a T. <laughs> This is a very sustainable hotel uh, and the water doesn't come in plastic uh, bottles but there's a little spill that says um, the water in Tasmania is from Mount Wellington and it's the cleanest water uh, from any major Australian city and I tried it and I went oh my god that tastes really good it does taste very earthy very minerally very nice I love Hobart, it's such a pretty quaint town. Um, just off to dinner now at a restaurant called Aloft. Uh, I think it's a modern Australian restaurant. Uh, 
set menu. Looking forward to it. So, this is Bomaris Zoo, home of the Tasmanian devil? tiger? No, Tasmanian tiger. Um, all that's left now is bunnies. <laughs> Hobart was amazing, loved it so much, definitely go back again, so much to do there, so much to see. Um, but now I've arrived in South Australia, Adelaide. Um, it was a two hour flight and um, didn't get an upgrade but there you go. Just waiting for my friend to arrive who's uh, going to pick me up and take me around my hotel. Here he comes! <laughs> He's gonna go crazy. He's gonna go cray cray crazy. Here he goes! Yeah!
So today I'm off to Perth, but um, I couldn't get a direct flight, so I have to go tr transit through Melbourne. Um, the second, well, both parts of this flight are, are business. The first one I didn't book as business, but I must have got an upgrade. The second part I did book as business because it's um, a longer flight. Uh, so I'm in the business, business lounge. I'm in the, the shower area, which is pretty cool. Um, we've got shower facilities you can use um, while you're waiting for the flight, which is good. Love it. Very nice. Okay, just arrived in Perth after the four hour flight, which they fed me very well. I'm absolutely stuffed now. Uh, I'm staying in the Adnate Hotel in the, right in the center of Perth. It's um, an art series hotel, which is very smart. I like it. Let me show you the view. Uh, that's the view of the city of Perth. They gave me, look, they gave me a little present as well, which is nice. Very nice. Um, so tonight I'm going to be eating at um, the revolving restaurant. I just thought it would be a kitsch thing to do. Um, so I better go wandering around the town to work up an appetite for that because I'm not hungry at all. And what else? Oh, the transfer. Um, I didn't figure out the transfer into the city from the hotel uh, fr from the airport which I should have done previously because I think the uh, bus fare is like two dollars uh, three dollars but um, I ended up getting, getting an uber for twenty eight dollars which is not too bad really it's only like 20 minutes all right I'm off so the hotel was giving out these uh, bikes um, just so you can cycle around for free which is very nice of them and it's a gorgeous bike as well um, so this is a great way to uh, have a look around first the only thing is they're not electric so it's going to take a lot of work okay here's a recommendation don't get a bike it's too exhausting get an electric scooter god
So I just wanted to say a little thing about um, how much stuff I've brought on this holiday. I haven't really brought that much at all. I've got my main bag, um, which I carry around, and then I've got my backpack. So I checked the weather before I left just to see what the weather was going to be like all around Australia. Um, it's only going to rain once, Northern Territory, um, but it's the rainy season up there, so uh, I think it only rains for a few hours in the afternoon. So I did bring an umbrella, but it's like one of those really tiny umbrellas. Didn't need a jacket because the weather was only going to get down to 15 degrees in the evening. Um, so that all saved a bit of space. Um, this is like four kilos now and this is three kilos. So seven kilos you can just get straight on to a plane. You don't have to put anything in the hold. Uh, so I'm on and off the plane really quickly. Uh, no messing about. Pre-booked uh, most of the transfers. Skybus is really good. I use that one quite a bit. In Brisbane they have Sky Train, uh, which gets you into the centre of Brisbane very quickly. I also pre-check into hotels beforehand, so I don't need to bother with all that when I rock up to a hotel. So I'm in and out places very quickly. <music> So now I've got a four hour Virgin flight from Perth to Darwin. Um, I think I lose a few hours because of the time zone, uh, but I get there around 4.30. So I made it to Darwin and um, I think I missed the storms, so I did not need that brolly after, after all. I think the storms are around 2 o'clock and it's now almost 6 o'clock. So the last time I came here we ate at uh, Pee Wee's at the Point I think it was called, um, which was a really nice meal, it was kind of a fine dining for, for Darwin meal. Um, this time I couldn't really find anywhere good. There were um, like a few restaurants on my to-do list which I had a look at but um, I didn't really fancy eating in them. And then I went down to um, the wharf and had a meal there at Chow I think it was called. Um, but it, it was alright, it wasn't brilliant but it was alright.
So this is the hotel I stayed in in Darwin. Um, the lobby's good. That's about it. Um, so this is the scooter I've been, or the scooters I've been traveling around in uh, in the various cities. Um, I think they are really good value for money. They're um, 50, no, what is it? 33 dollars for a whole week, and you can get half an hour, uh, one and a half hours a day on them which is pretty good. I think it's a great way to see a city uh, and you can just travel around pretty quick, see all the sights. I think they're great. way to transfer between Darwin and Melbourne to the city is to go on the Sky bus but um, the best way to transfer to Brisbane uh, airport to the city is to go on this thing which is the Sky train it only takes about half an hour So there's a cycleway called the Brisbane City Loop. Um, goes for about 35 kilometers, or if you want to go to the highest point in Brisbane, that's 45 kilometers. You can get right up the top of there, and it loops back around again to the city. Reflections of my epic trip around Australia in seven days. This was my type of holiday. I absolutely loved it. Uh, I loved the speed of things. I loved being in a place for such a short amount of time and having to cram uh, so much into the time I was there. Yeah, I loved it. I guess not everyone's idea of a, a good holiday, but for me, I thought it was amazing and I'm already planning my next one which will be um, kind of short hops to remote places, not the big cities. Uh, I think that would be fun as well. Um, one thing I would suggest is that you plan everything to the minuscule detail um, because there's so much room for things to go wrong. So. Um, just plan everything. Uh, I guess I got really lucky because um, didn't have any major delays. The biggest delay was an hour and a half at one airport. So I got lucky with my trip. Got lucky with the weather, got lucky with the airports, got lucky with the hotels, got lucky, got lucky. Yeah. Um, definitely do it again. Loved it.